Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product. Uh, this is case 868 A16S board. You can see this board we have designed by the ESP32 module and it also will support the Home Assistant by the ESP Home. So let's look at the hardware details and second I will show you how it works in Home Assistant by the ESP Home. And this board, you can see that have 16 channel relay and digital input uh, 16 channel and S485 and power supply and the analog input and the GPIO device such as the DS18B20 temperature sensor and you can see uh, here is the diagram uh, some details there are many interface on the board and every relay that will have common and normal open and normal close and also support the 4G module and the 2G module used by the GPS or GPS. So you can see here, let's look at the details, the ESP32 module and the Ethernet port and the reset and the GPIO zero and the USB type C and this is the IF module. If you want to use the remote, you can see you can use this and plug it into this socket and so that you can use this remote wireless remote. Uh, for 33 megahertz remote and we remove it and this is already indicate that for relay output and uh, this is I2C interface extend and this is the RTC module you can see that is DS33 and 31 and uh, this is RTC module so if you use it you just plug it into this socket and here you can see that have some interface because we have designed the menu country button and you can see this is for 4G module and uh, this is for the 2G module that is thin 800 is for 2G module you just plug it into this, this socket so that you can use this module and install this SIM card at this socket Okay, let's look at this PCB board so that you can understand easily. And you can see that we have designed this menu control button. You can see here, this is 16 channel menu country button that can control this 16 channel relay output directly. So if the home assistant is bad, or the software is bad, or the ESP chip is bad, so you can use this control this relay directly. Later, I will show you how it works in the demo video because this is physical and uh, work with the relay without any software and the firmware uh, we have used 10 ampere relay you can see that is a high quality Omron relay that max is 10 ampere so that will be enough for you for many airplanes to use okay this is the bird and if we install the 4G module on it you can see this bird this bird we have installed the 4G module and installed the SIM card at this socket and this is menu country button and this is the RTC module so you can see that have fixed by the screw so that will be uh, very stable and this is the button board and this is the 4G that is the 4G board so you can see uh, that is uh, installed the 4 module when Two, three on the PCB board, and this is the back, back of the PCB, and this is in front. And also, if you want install this board uh, to a box, this time we have designed you this black box, so that you can see. If I install this board, PCB board, to this box, you can see here, this is metal box and uh, support install on the DIN rail so, so you can see that will be easily support installed in your power distribution box so you can see that I can close this cover just like this you can see uh, this is the appearance and you can install antenna according to your place because there are many holes for your install the antenna you can change by yourself which hole to use and if I install this remote 
this is IF receive module. So you can see I can plug in. So that will work with your remote. Now I will show you how it works in Home Assistant. We can open this box and connect with the Ethernet cable. I just use the Ethernet so that will be stable. You can see here. Uh, this time I'm not using the Wi-Fi, so I have not connected it. When you use the Wi-Fi, you can connect with this socket uh, to this IPX socket. I just uh, for save the time and show you the demo, and uh, use this DC 12 volt power supply. And this socket also is removable. So I just connect with this power. You can see I power on. And the power LED is on. Now the ESP32 is no firmware, no software. But you can see I can press this button for relay one. You can see the LED, the relay one. And you can see the number two, three, four. So I can turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. Turn on manually, manually controlled by this button. I can turn off. So this can work without any firmware, uh, without any software. Just uh, control it directly. OK, let's begin use the Home Assistant. And I will download the firmware by the ESP Home and connect with the USB cable with my Raspberry Pi. Let's look at how to configure the Home Assistant. You can see in our phone, there are A16S. There are many resources. Just you can see here, the config YAML file for ESP Home. So you just copy and paste. That will be very easy. Because we have created the Home Assistant config file. You just copy. And just copy and paste. And you can see here, in our Home Assistant, I have created a dashboard. So you, I have created the device, the ESP Home and A16S, and edit. Uh, this just a copy and paste. I have already pasted here. So I can press Save and Install, and by the USB, click this, and by this USB, and wait for a moment. And then the firmware will download uh, to this USB and to the ESP32 module. OK, now it's complete. You can see the logo file and connect the e starting the Ethernet and finish successfully. So I can click the stop and close it. And you will see this A16 S board that changed to online state. And now I can change to the dashboard. So we follow, we have created the A16 S board output and the input. So you can see I can click and that is Turn on relay one, you can see the red LED is on. And you can see I can turn on second and the third. And close, close, close. And I can also edit it and let it have this all on and all off But So I can click save and you can see this button. And I can click. So you can see already 16 channel is on. And that is off 16 channel is off and this is the input state we can use this for sensor or for switch you can see this is the input one that the default is off when i use my twice and the shot for this input one and the ground you can see here i shot that is on and release that is off so this you can use for any dry contact sensor for this part and you can see that the input you can see here many input that input one and input two, one and two and until fifteen and sixteen, and so so that you can use many switch button of the sensor, and you can see if I shut for the ground and the second channel, and you can see that the input two, input two, is will be on. So this is used for the input state, and this is for output. Okay, 
So now you can see if I remove this network cable. So that you can see the Home Assistant dashboard not work, can't work. But this time, if I press this button, it also can work. So this can use for emergency, for menu country button. And also I can remove this USB cable, and you can see that can work. And if I connect with this Ethernet cable again, and you can see the Home Assistant is refreshed. So that you can see I can click on and off, on and off again. So this can work again, but remove this cable and this can't work. But all this button, it works perfectly, no problem. So this is for the emergency use. Uh, when the home system is bad or the system is bad, you can use this button. Okay, this is how to use the A16S board. Thanks for watching.